Pilot licensing or certification refers to permit on how to operate the aircraft. These permits are issued by the Civil Aviation Authority in each country, establishing that the holder has met specific set of knowledge and experience requirements. Just recently, the Nigeria Civil Aviation Authority revoked the license of a pilot owing to an expired medical status. On the program today, we'll be speaking with the Public General Manager of Public Relations Affairs of the NCAA, Mr. Sam Adurogoye, on the issues. Mr. Sam, thank you very much for joining us on the program. It's a pleasure. Now, licensing is such a big deal in the, in the aviation industry and amongst aviation professionals. Uh, why is this so, and what is sacrosanct in the book? Well, the main thing we use to regulate the industry is the license that we issued. And that is the only thing by which we can exercise control and sanitize the system and ensure that people comply to the regulation. So at any given time, if you violate the provisions of the license, then the law prescribes either we suspend it, either we withdraw it, or we revocate it, as the case may be. But in this case, if you were a revocation, we revoke it. That is what the law says. Now, I'm sure that the regulators make sure that the professionals undergo different forms of training continually, maybe monthly or every six months or yearly. So how did the regulators miss this? I'm talking about the pilots. Where, where you have law to, to punish, or let, let me put it this way, you do the right thing, then of course you are commended for it. When you violate, you are punished for the wrongdoing. It's not a question of missing. If we miss it, then we will not come to the position we are today. When you have your license, there are requirements. There are responsibilities attached to it. And of course, there are obligations. You are obligated to renew, to go for, re, of course, re-examination again. The idea is to ensure that you are still fit to do the job without any impairment. But where you did not do that, of course, the onus is not allowed to take action. Well, if my information is correct, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Why I use the word miss? From what we've read, they said he's not been flying. He's been flying for six months without this requirement. That, that was why I used the word miss. Okay. Well, just like I said, we didn't miss. The onus is for on the order of the, uh, the certificate to go for the examination. And of course, if you didn't do that and we find out, then we take action. That is what exactly what is in the book. It's just like insurance. If you insure your airplane, the responsibility is on the owner of the airplane to insure. And when the insurance becomes invalid, you put down the airplane on ground. Of course, if it takes us to, to you know, get you to revalidate the license, it's another violation. It is your responsibility to ensure that the insurance is valid. It is your responsibility to ensure that the certificate we are holding you do what you need to do. Where you don't do it, of course, you are sanctioned for it. That is a, it's a law we keep to ourselves, not NCA imposed on the industry. We we'll start that together and we we'll work out that regulation, and it became binding on all of us. Uh, Mr. Sam, I, I must ask this particular question, given the fact that he was flying right. while uh, he had not gone to revalidate, if you allow me to use that word. What assurances are you going to give to the audience who may be perceiving some lopsidedness? or if not the world love side, then some lapses in the regulator's ability to check and be proactive to make sure this is done in time. I just explained that this law prescribes, gives you a responsibility to go for the examination. For example, how many licenses do you think we have given to pilots? Pilots are in their thousands. So when you have that license, it has a validity. And of course, for every flight crew, it's not just a pilot. Every member of the flight crew go for a medical examination six months interval. And it is your responsibility to go, go and do that. If it takes out to ensure that you didn't do it, it becomes a violation. And again, no pilot will complain because the regulation that we're enforcing compliance to is something that all of us sat down, agree what amount to violation and what amount to penalty or the sanction. So whatever sanction that has been imposed is not a guess war. It's something that is, that is a documentary. Uh, we have a whole handbook on that, enforcement and compliance, which every operator, which every pilot and personnel, they have a copy. Uh, the regulation, they all have a copy. So what is their responsibility? They know. So it's not a thing that we have to. It is what they need uh, to do. Mr. Sam? 
Yes. Yeah, so th thank you for your time. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank you so much for your time. You're welcome.